Hello everyone, and welcome to this Sunday's Gospel Reflection. A reading from the Gospel of Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus left the house and sat by the lakeside, but such large crowds gathered round him that he got into a boat and sat there. The people all stood on the bench and he told them many things in parables. He said, Imagine a sower going out to sow. As he sowed, some seeds fell on the edge of the path, and the birds came and ate them up. Others fell on patches of rock where they found little soil and sprang up straight away, because there was no depth of earth. But as soon as the sun came up, they were scorched, and not having any roots, they withered away. Others fell among thorns, and the thorns grew up and choked them. Others fell on rich soil and produced their crops, some a hundredfold, some sixty, some thirty. Listen, anyone who has ears. Then the disciples went up to ask him and asked, Why do you talk to them in parables? Because, he said, the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven are revealed to you, but they are not revealed to them. For anyone who has will be given more, and he will have more than enough. But from anyone who has not, even what he has will be taken away. The reason I talk to them in parables is that they look without seeing and listen without hearing or understanding. So in their case, this prophecy of Isaiah is being fulfilled. You will listen and listen again, but not understand. See and see again, but not perceive. For the heart of this nation has grown coarse. Their ears are dull of hearing, and they have shut their eyes. For fear they should see with their eyes, hear with their ears, understand with their heart, and be converted and healed by me. But happy are your eyes because they see, your ears because they hear. I tell you solemnly, many prophets and holy men long to see what you see and never saw it, to hear what you hear, and never heard it. You, therefore, are to hear the parable of the sower. When anyone hears the word of the kingdom without understanding, the evil one comes and carries off what was sown in his heart. This is the man who received the seed on the edge of the path. The one who received it on patches of rock is the man who hears the word and welcomes it, at once with a joy. But he has no root in him. He does not last. Let some trial come, or some persecution, on account of the word, and he falls away at once. The one who received the seed in thorns is the man who hears the word. But the worries of this world and the lure of riches choke the word, and so he produces nothing. And the one who received the seed in rich soil is the man who hears the word and understands it. He is the one who yields and harvest and produces now a hundredfold, now sixty, now thirty. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. In this Gospel passage, Jesus tells a parable about a sower who goes out to sow seeds. Some seeds fall on different types of ground, the path, rocky soil, among the thorns, and rich soil. The seeds represent the world of the kingdom, or God's message. Jesus explains that the seeds on the path are taken by birds, representing those who hear the message but don't understand it. The rocky soil represents people who receive the word with joy initially, but fall away when faced with trials or persecution. The seeds among thorns represent those who let worries and the desire for wealth choke the world, preventing it from growing. Finally, the seeds in the rich soil represent people who hear the word, understand it, and produce a fruitful harvest. Jesus teaches in parables because some people look without truly seeing and listen without fully understanding. He quotes a prophecy from Isaiah, explaining that some hearts have grown coarse, ears have become dull, and eyes have shut out the truth. But Jesus tells his disciples that they are fortunate because they see and understand what others long to see and hear. For us, students at English Martyrs, this parable teaches us important lessons, 
it reminds us to be receptive to God's word, not just hearing it, but truly understanding and applying it to our lives. We should avoid being like the seeds on the path, the rocky soil, or among thorns, where the world does not take root or flourish. Instead, we should strive to be like the seeds in the rich soil, where the word bears fruit and grows abundantly. Let us open our hearts, ears and eyes to God's teachings, seeking understanding and conversion. By doing so, we can experience the joy of living in alignment with God's kingdom and to be a source of inspiration and transformation for others. Remember, we are fortunate to have the opportunity to hear and understand the word of God. So let us strive to be fruitful in our faith and our actions.